Hi guys. So some of you may previously have seen my scrap box. Um, it used to be smaller, <laughs> but when I cleaned my desk off, when I was moving down to my new craft room, um, yeah, I had to move it into a bigger box. Now, my my crap box is just all paper bits um, that I've thrown in here as I'm <laughs> making something or as I, I don't know, clean my desk. And to be honest, I don't even know what's on the bottom anymore because I haven't reached the bottom in a long time. So there's bits of tissue paper, <sighs> bits of envelope, napkin, um goodness I, look I don't even know this is a bit of envelope this is a tissue box because I love the leaves on it um, bits of music paper cutoffs this is coffee dyed notepad paper when I'm making journals look all sorts of <laughs> all sorts of rubbish honestly little bits from little golden books now I have been digging around in the top because I have started to use some of my rubbish in here. Now, this is probably not like your normal scrap paper box. I, I think most people when they say I'm using up scraps, they're using up bits of coffee dyed paper or scrapbook papers. Mine is a hodgepodge of absolute crap. <laughs> so I've been joking with a few people over the past few days. Um, you know, because I'm a bit bored, I'm sitting on the lounge, can't do much with this stupid brace, and my foot up, I have to, I can't stand on it, I have to put my foot up. So, you know, I've told a few people I'm quite bored, so I just started gluing stuff down out of my crap box. So, and when I say gluing down, I mean literally pick up a piece and glue it down. It doesn't matter what it is and I have found a few strange things in there <laughs> and they're just getting glued down that's it it doesn't matter what it is now I've been using um, food packaging these are the ones I like the best the Woolies meals because I like the mottled um, pattern on the back of the cardboard these uh, yogurt ones are also really nice see the pattern inside Crispix. I haven't used you yet, but oh, he's grey. I'm not going to use him. I'll use that for something else. Let's chuck him up there. But even these, the any brown cardboard, I, I like it. Anyway, so this is what I've been trying to use. I'm going to take this one. And I thought I would just sit here and um, make a few with you. Let me show you what I've done already. Now, some of the cardboard bits, when I use this, there's a long strip here and there's even a little strip here. See where the fold is? So I've been using all of it um, and I thought these bits could be just little belly bands or something. Okay, so let me show you what I've done so far. Now, nothing has been added to these. It's all crap out of my crap box. That's it. So I've not done any stamping, no inking, no paints, no finding pretty papers from anywhere. It's complete scraps. <laughs> okay. Now, this one I really love. Oops, let me put my lamp on. Oops. Okay. This one I really love because it had some of... Uh, Tony Williams tie-dye papers that she sent. I had a little scrap in there and um, I think it came up really nice and I thought this could be a little belly band that way, you know, tuck something under. Oh, this was a bit of white cardboard. Don't know what that was, can't remember. I've done these over, over the past week because um, I'm not meant to take my brace off too often. Um, some of them, yeah, you can see quite weird. It's had a, an express post envelope. Um, there's some children's book in here. When I've cut pictures out of children's book, 
the words, you know, they're always so big and, you know, the font that they use for children's books are, are big and everything and I, I quite like them. <laughs> so I've thrown them in there. Don't ask. Anyway, that's that one. Actually, I'm going to just... Uh, let me take that off. Oh gosh, it's been off most of today. So there's some weird things. That was a bit of map, a price tag. This was the paper out of um, my son's work boots. Um, you know, in the box, they had some uh, like tissue type paper. Oh, I like this one too. This had some book page that I um, had used as drop paper when I was spraying something with some gold. And that was um, some leftover stamping stuff that I had been ripping up. There's something, oh my gosh, I don't even know. So long ago, I can't remember what half my scraps are from. But as you can see, they're very... This writing underneath is actually my daughter's um, um, scribble notes from university. And, and she's a vet. Um, so... All of her uni notes that she was tossing, I took them and I coffee dyed some of the papers because some were blank on the back. And the ones with writing, um, yeah, I put some of those <laughs> in there. I, I can't remember what I... Oh, that's right. The pages were blank on the other side and I think I coffee dyed them and I was using the other side, you know, when you glue pictures onto coffee dyed paper just to back them with some coffee dyed paper. Um, so there were some scraps in my crap box, so I've just um, actually put down the writing side. This is tissue box, I think. Anyway, let me go quicker. There are some strange bits. This envelope. Oops. Sorry, it's quite um, quite dark for some reason. I just love how they come out they're so random and like the little pieces in there are so so random this is some pink tissue paper that I had in there this is the um, the bits off notepads um, spiral bound when you rip the pages out love how they come out <laughs> this one I had a um, salvos docket in there so I've just glued it straight on and I put some tissue paper over top um, just to tone down the color it was so bright no idea what that was That was a bit of wallpaper there. Now this one, there was a book page with a picture on the back, so love how that one turned out. Now this one, there was a little half a squirrel on a book page. There's some washi tape. This is actually um, pulled off cardboard box. Bit of math book. <laughs> There's a price tag under there. The little negatives from uh, die cutting. That's some napkin. I yeah napkin. As you can see, I've done quite a few. So random. And I've used itty bitty little scraps as well. This is actually some stitching. When I'm um, sewing on my sewing machine, depending what I'm doing, sometimes if I need to adjust the tension, I will just sew, um, do some test runs on paper. And um, I always keep that paper that has the stitching on it. 
this is this was the top of a uh, cotton reel from my sewing machine that's actually a clothing label <laughs> I don't know why that was in my crap box but um it was in there so I glued it down oh my gosh this one's so random I can't even tell what's what that was a slither of wallpaper Actually, I really like that orangey uh, tissue paper. <laughs> That's another little tag, price tag from an op shop. There's some more of this stitching on the paper. It's a barcode off um, a cardboard box. Those are my crap box collage tags. So I thought I would sit here and make some. And these I will just chop them up into random size journal tags or journal tags, pockets, cards, whatever you want to call them. Some belly bands. I love this one with Tony's paper. So cute. Okay, let me get rid of that. Okay, and I'm just going to sit here and um, bore you. Let me get a glue stick. Of course, I'm completely unprepared, as usual. I do need a new glue stick. <laughs> so I have to open a new packet. These are the glue sticks that I use for collaging. And I can't find my paper scissors, so I'm using my little laundry scissors. I was actually going to do a live video, but um, yeah, I've got too many distractions. People knocking on my door and um, phone ringing and I'm just going to snip this off. Not meant to press down with my thumb. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Painted uh, baby wipe. bring my let me see what you can see on camera yeah I probably should have done a live for this then I could really go through what's in my crap box with you actually do you know what I think I might do um a live video tomorrow. Okay, so this shiny layer, I just um, pull that off because it's shiny and um, stuff doesn't stick to it very well. And I just put that in my recycle bin. And so it leaves a really matte finish. This side is the um, will be the journal card side. See, this one is a bit different. The cardboard to the one I usually get from those type of boxes. Okay, and then I just oops, that's the empty one. Then I just glue crap down. Now. <laughs> Some of the pieces in here are a bit too um, a bit too big to rifle through because everything falls out. So I've just been pulling out. See, look at this coffee dyed paper. I think that was from Tony Williams as well. Just going to pull out the bigger pieces. 
Look, these are from a math book. This was from Tony Williams. Look at that. So pretty. See, things like this, when I pull apart books, this page is so nice and brown, I can't, can't throw it away. I don't know why I kept this. Probably because it had that bit of a building image. I don't actually like it, but I made a rule. Since it's in here, I shall use it. Look at this baking paper. How delicious does that sound? Actually, I might keep those for a little something else. Ooh, there's another one. It's like finding little treasures in this junk, honestly. Okay, I have a barcode issue. I keep the barcodes off all the boxes because I have a project in mind I need them for. Um, this, I don't even know why it's in here. It's not meant to be in here. Okay, I don't even know where to start when I show you on camera because when I do this by myself, it's so much easier. Okay, I'm just going to start with book page. And I really do just glue those babies down. I kind of want to put something under my piece of cardboard. I have a squillion used security envelopes. really boring for you. So does anyone else have a crap box? I was speaking to um, Nat Williams. She has a um, YouTube channel as well. Oh, Anyone that I mention that has a channel, I'll put the links in the comments box below. I always do. Um, and I asked her <laughs> if she has a crap box because I want to see if anyone, if anyone's is as bad as mine. And um, she said when she does her craft room tour, she's going to um, show us why these math pages were in my crap box. I don't remember what I pulled them out for. Because some of the stuff in here has been in here forever. See, I don't like how white that is. My um, my my style always tends to go towards the darker tones, and um, so it's kind of been a real challenge just pulling something out of this box and running with it. Now I don't want to make the pieces too too big because when I cut them into journal card size. Um, you know, I don't want one journal card just to be pri primarily book page, if you know what I mean. But that's okay. If you start with bigger pieces, you can always um, put something on top of them. I know, I use way too much glue. I always do. I can't help it. I have a glue problem. And I'm really trying not to wipe my fingers after every um, every bit of glue gets on them. See, this was some packing paper. Oh, I wish I didn't keep all of this. This was some napkin. 
<laughs> Look, why is this stupid little piece in here? Oh my gosh. I don't know, but he's going on. Actually, I'll put him last because I find the tissue paper bits are um, the best. See these little strips? I usually use those as um, little paper band-aids. If you haven't seen my Bonnie band-aids, I'll put the link to that video um, below. But I usually keep those really little narrow strips. But because I've got so many, they're getting glued down. I'll see, what am I going to do with this? I'm just going to glue it to get rid of it. And it's square, which I don't like, so something's going to go over top of that. Okay, tissue paper, leave him to last. See, look how crunchy and delicious this is. Going down. I think we should put the book page in the corners last. Anyway, try not to overthink it. I don't know why this is in here. Oh my gosh, I've got so much tissue paper. Oh, this is where I've coffee dyed, um, used, you know, notepad paper. Looks like my husband's ugly scribble writing. But I actually like the hand, um, the handwriting side up. I'm just going to put him somewhere. There's too many of these strips. when I've been punching out scallop squares for little cluster embellishments and then I've kept the whole negative bit oh my gosh I don't know why but you know I actually have had a lot of fun with these collage tags I made a stupid little rule for myself um, if it's in here I've got to use it so so any stupid little bit um, Oops, I've glued him down. Yeah, any stupid little bit that I've been pulling out, you know, I've got my own little rule. I've, I've got to use it. <laughs> it's actually been quite fun. I um, I quite like how all these little bits have um, mushed together and how they've turned out. Oh, I don't like gluey fingers. What else? See, this music paper is too white for my liking. But he's got to go on. He's got to go on. Where's he going to go? Which side? Let's put this side. Maybe there. I don't know why is this in here. I was probably stamping on it. See, that's this is me cutting pictures out of a children's book. Actually, I've I've got to upload that video. Um, made a video with just some you know kind of retro fabric and children's book pictures. Show you what I've been doing when I find these in here. This isn't meant to be in here. I actually have a barcode <laughs> folder, but um, for the sake of this, I've just been pulling it off. Oh, see, I don't like. He's too shiny. And I've just been using the barcode bit.
somewhere 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 little golden book look at that how delicious is that see I've got something in mind for that Oh, these stupid things. I can't use them up quick enough. I've probably kept this because it was coffee dyed and it was brownish. But I need to start letting stuff go into the recycle bin. Okay, I'm going to start my video again because it's going to chop off. Okay. I've even got this in here. This was off a really old piece of yarn. Okay, let's have a dig. Oops, there's a bit of napkin. I'm going to want some. See what else is in here. <laughs> Red Rooster. This is a takeaway place um, here in Australia. Their brown paper bag. I do like that since 1972. I'm going to snip him off. off my glue stick now it's a bit dry on top oh my gosh I've got hair on there okay let's put this baby here been painting something. Actually that's another video I've got to upload. I've made some little um botanical um tags with um skeleton leaves. It's just mixing some paint there. Okay. Where am I going to put this green guy? I used to have a painty paper book, but I just don't know where. Um, it's got lost somewhere in my move to my new craft room. It's the longest move ever. Where can I put this guy? Here. We should start hashtag use up your crap box. Oh gosh, there's another one. Okay, let's get down into the nitty gritty. Oh goodness, docket King's Comics. What did I buy there? Regular papers. I always keep these. I, I really like them for some reason. <laughs> oh no, this yellow. I don't feel he's really going to go on here. We'll make him. We'll pop something on top of him later. What else? Ooh, another one of those. 
black card. Okay. I haven't had a real... Oh, there's more of that Christmas napkin. Oh my gosh, how much did I keep? I have no idea what's in here. Here's a bit more music paper. I don't like white on the edge for some reason. I know that's really, it's one of those weird things that I do. What else? Ooh, what's that? Please wait for your number to be called. That's <laughs> from some takeaway. <laughs> oh my gosh. Might have been when we, I don't know, we did Chinese or something. Where can this guy go? I'm going to put him along the edge here. But he's so white that I'm going to cover it with some tissue paper, I think. I'm going to stick a little piece of something there to fill that gap. There's some nice um, dictionary page. See, some of these things are stuff that you would normally use in collage um, anyway. So, let me, let me dig down a little, eh? Actually, I do want to use this nice little blue pattern there. Where do I want him? I'm going to stick him here. Okay, what else? Oh no, not more of those square scallop punches. Okay, this is what I mean about weird stuff. This is, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so old. This was some tape, um, packing tape that I had from Audi. And you know, at the end of the roll, um, it's always got paper on the back. I've kept that, but it's too shiny for this. Hmm. Where do I want this guy? Over here. Okay, Salvo stores, $2.50, he's going on, where is he going, there, oh my gosh, little piece of lace, okay, see, this is what I mean about stupid things. Look at this. What am I going to do with this? Let's stick a piece of it in there. I suppose if anything it does add texture. <laughs> you know how everyone always goes on about texture? 
see. And what is this from? But I like it. Okay, I've got to dig down in my box and find the weird stuff that I was finding before. But see what I mean about all the stupid little pieces? It's it's not normal to keep this sort of stuff, is it? Maybe I should have done a little uh, piece of cardboard. This is taking too long for you. Actually, it doesn't even take me that long when I do sit there and do it myself. For some reason, when I turn the camera on, I just really stuff around. And fill that gap. Okay. Now, see, I've got stuff like this. This is tissue pop. Oh, I don't know, it had a pretty flower pattern on it. And what I usually do is just pull the top layer off and use that. But, okay, I've um, only pulled a teeny tiny piece. Normally I, I pull off a bigger piece than that. <laughs> but I don't want to uh, waste time pulling it off now. Where do I want this? Where does he want to go? Here. No, actually now I don't want this piece on here. Where can I hide it? I'll cover it. Okay. So sometimes there's bits that stick out to me, you know, like this white strip and this. And then all I do with those is I just put a bit of tissue paper over it to kind of blend it in. So... So this is just tissue pa paper out of the sewing patterns. Of course I didn't rip it long enough. Duh. Okay, we'll put it down here. See, I always try and cover up the white stuff. I wish I wouldn't do that because everything ends up looking so grungy and brown but see oops I had to go stick my finger in it but see how you can see that underneath there is a salvo store shopping <laughs> docket you can read it but it kind of um the tissue paper blends it in well if I hadn't have ruined it I'll just stick another little piece on top of that We go and I need some for this I love the sewing pattern um, tissue paper it is so good for so many things Yeah, I've really liked that since 1972. I'm going to have to um, keep all the Red Rooster takeaway bags now. Looks so cool. Glue that baby down. So don't worry if it hangs over the edge because you'll trim all that off later. Okay, I think I might be about done. I need something on this little piece here. Oops, I don't like that. See that two little white dots? That's kind of bugging me. I do want to put a bit of this tissue paper on. Where does he need to go? 
Maybe not. Maybe it's too much already. Something here is bugging me. This. little guy actually I want something here because I'm thinking when I cut it it'll be too 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 much there maybe I'll put a piece of this okay that breaks it up a bit can I stop squishing the edges look at that okay now this one i didn't put too many random random stuff in but um maybe i'll do another live video oh sorry i'll do another video but a live one oh okay there are some goodies on the bottom of the box what's that dictionary page Oh my gosh, do you know how long this has been in here? This is a dictionary page where I cut out a little picture of an elephant when I made my tiny elephant journal in a box. I love that journal. That I really want to find another one of those boxes. It was so, so cute. If you haven't seen it, go have a look. I must give myself a wrap. That journal was so gorgeous. Okay, I do see some goodies down the bottom. That's um wallpaper <laughs> from when I did the blue the blue um junk journal packs I think. These are some colouring in pictures that my daughter in law did and left around. Oh, I could have put some little leaves and stuff on there. Anyway, where's my scissors? Then I'm just going to chop this baby up. Let me stand up and show you. So trim the little edges. Oops. Normally I just um, guillotine the edge, but for the sake of this I'll just trim, trim, trim. Where are my normal paper scissors? I don't know. They're probably hidden under fabric on my desk. You should see my desk oh my gosh it's such a mess and then when i clean it more crap will go into my crap box these little pink scissors they're my laundry scissors um it says karina or something on them <laughs> my friend james in america um sent these to me as a joke he um was walking to his car in the car park at work and he, um, and these were sitting in the car park. <laughs> he, he was sending me a package and he popped them in there. And we had a joke about Karina losing her scissors. I don't know why Karina's scissors were out in the car park at work. But now they've gone all the way from the USA <laughs> to Australia. I do love these little scissors, James. Okay, so this is my finished collage tag actually this is bugging me let me just um let me put something over this i wish i had more of that pink oh see this is the strange things i do this was a wine box and i <laughs> ripped the top off because it had little butterflies i wish i had more of that pink um tissue paper i if you order from my etsy shop you like papers that need to be kept flat you will <laughs> quite often receive papers on a wine box and um i did joke to someone one of my subscribers don't worry i'm not an alcoholic i just use wine boxes from woolworths um our, one of our supermarket chains here they have a bottle shop 
attached to their um, to the supermarket because um, oh and out the front they put all these empty boxes and I always grab them just to use for my orders. I just cut the cardboard down to size because some of them have really pretty pictures. Look at this. Let me show you a few. So when I cut them up, see this has got a lady beetle. I can't put that in the bin, can I? It's got a flower. Look at that old paddle boat. I think I've used all the good ones so far. Little horse. Oh, this was a magic box one. The main picture on the box was so cool. Halloween. These are just the little uh, end pieces. But the main pieces, some of the wine boxes have the best pictures. But anyway, I used the main part of the wine box um, to keep the papers flat for my order and then the little pieces if there's a pretty picture like this I'll peel it off and then I just make some little junk journal tags or something with them it's going to put a bit of plain paper on that to tone it down a little okay that's better oh no is there a gap I've missed two bits I need to put something there. Might put some more. See how blind I am? I thought that was brown paper there. I can't wait till I'm not blind after my operation in February. <laughs> Got an eye operation coming up. Have to get a cornea lining transplant, which is not going to be fun because for two days after, I have to lay flat on my back and not move my head how am I going to do that I've got a little gap there when there's a gap stick anything any little bit of paper yeah I don't know how I'm going to keep my head still for two days Okay, now don't worry, when you do this yourself, it's not going to take 10 hours like it just took me. <laughs> I can knock these off really quick. Actually, everything I do really quick when I'm by myself, but on camera, I don't know why I'm so slow. Okay, so there's your journal card. And if you can picture, if you cut it down to size, you know, maybe half this way and then half that way, you know, you can see what... They would look like i think i just think they're so fun and they look so good in junk journals because this is what junk journals is meant to be about okay and i might come back and do a live tomorrow and make some more because i want to make a whole bunch of these and get rid of some scraps okay thanks for hanging about and um catch you later bye